in his book, Celebration of Discipline, talks about a, a practice his family adopted. They would be watching television, and when commercials came on, he said he encouraged his kids to, to begin to make fun of the commercials, to, to find the flaws and the arguments, to, uh, to ask the, the critical questions. Uh, can you believe what they're saying? Can you, can you fathom what they're asking us to buy or what they're uh, suggesting that we need to do? He said it was a way of building a, a healthy, healthy skepticism into the, the process of listening critically. It seems to me that we as Christians need to adopt the same thing. Martin Luther said about the Eighth Commandment that it ties our hands so that we won't steal, and the Ninth Commandment, he said, it ties our tongue so that we won't tell lies. I don't know that many of us go out to tell lies actively, but one of the ways that it happens all the time is online. Uh, one of the perfect instruments for the spreading of gossip, for the spreading of falsehood, is the Internet. Just recently, Ed Stetzer talked about how Christians are just so gullible, sucked into to myths, to false stories, and then just uncritically passing them along. And I, I think Ed was right in, in pointing out that this isn't just a, um, a matter of gullibility, it's a sin, because it is bearing false witness. And so his argument has been that whenever you read something online that you develop that same kind of healthy skepticism, that you ask the same sorts of questions that, that uh, Richard Foster asked his kids to ask about television commercials, ask the critical questions, do the fact-checking, don't, don't be part of a chain of bearing false witness because what you read serves your interests or supports your causes. As Christians, we've got to be people of truth. One of the places we've got to live that is online.